One of the reasons a lot of people choose to live in Cheyenne is because of its really affordable cost of living. If you're thinking about moving to Cheyenne, Wyoming, on this video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about the cost of living, from the cost of gas to the cost of housing. Hi, I'm Stan Hartzine with Double H Home Loans. Welcome to another episode of Why Not? Where we show you why people are choosing to live in Cheyenne, Wyoming. The number one question that I get as a mortgage advisor is, what actually is the cost of living in Cheyenne, Wyoming? And that is what I am excited to share with you today. As a mortgage advisor, the cost of living is something I deal with for clients every single day. So let's go ahead and paint the picture of what you can expect if you choose to make Cheyenne your home. The first thing that we're gonna talk about today is probably the most obvious when it comes to cost of living, and that's the cost of housing. One of the first things that you're gonna to need to decide is what kind of housing do you need? Are you gonna buy? Are you gonna rent? Do you need an apartment or maybe a single family home? Or if you're like me, maybe you're looking for a little bit more acreage for your family and your animals. So the cost of your housing is gonna vary depending on which one of those choices you make. If you want more information uh, specifically tailored to your situation, go ahead and message me and I'll get you in touch with one of the greatest realtors in Cheyenne and we'll get that information to you. Otherwise, here are some general pointers on what you can expect. The average three bedroom single family home in Cheyenne is roughly $325,000. A two bedroom in the same area would run roughly $285,000, making the median price for all houses in Cheyenne currently about $331,000. Now, if you were looking to rent an apartment in the area, you can plan on spending anywhere from geez, 800 on the very low end to above 2,000 on the higher end. There are actually million dollar properties in Cheyenne, but we don't call them million dollar mansions, we call them million dollar ranches. Don't get me wrong, there's price points all over the board in Cheyenne. One of the reasons that people choose to live in Cheyenne is that you get some additional space. Whether you're talking about some of those giant acreages that I just mentioned with the ranchins, or a house down in the city that at least gives you a sizable backyard, unlike the no yard that you would get down in Denver. A good rule of thumb with the pricing in Cheyenne is that as you go north or west, you're gonna see the prices go up a little bit versus if you lived in the south or the east. That being said, the southwest neighborhoods have actually experienced the highest appreciation rates in Cheyenne over the last 20 years. In addition to the housing costs being relatively low, the property taxes are also very low, with the median property tax in Cheyenne being just about $1,300 a year, half of what you'd pay somewhere else. Since we're on a topic that nobody likes, let's go ahead and finish up with some state sales tax and income tax. You're gonna like what I have to say. Wyoming does not have any state income tax. Let me repeat that. There is no state income tax in Wyoming. So the national average is about 4.6%. So if you're at the median income level in Cheyenne of about $55,000 per individual, this would save you $2,500 per year not paying state income tax. In addition, the state sales tax is one of the lowest sales taxes in the entire country at about 4%. Now the local sales tax in the city of Cheyenne is a little higher at about 6%, but there's great news. There's a few things that are excluded from that rate, which are groceries and prescription drugs. No state sales tax on those items. So in the year 2021, another consideration is your gas costs. Gas prices have been soaring this year. And right now, as of this recording, the average gas price in Cheyenne at the pump is about $3.60 a gallon. Now let's go over a couple of other items that you need to consider with your cost of living. You're gonna pay for gas for your car at the pump or natural gas for your house, and that has to be a consideration. In our area, both of those costs are just slightly above the national average. So if you're gonna live in Cheyenne, you do need to consider this gas because you're probably gonna need a car. Yes, Cheyenne does have a bus service, and they do actually have a door-to-door -door service called the Kirby, but probably since things are a little more spread out than maybe you're used to, you're gonna to wanna to have a car. There are a couple other logical costs that most people may not even think about. One would be the car registration. You know, here in Wyoming, to register a car is like 30 bucks. I think in California right now, they're looking at 450. Another thing that you might be familiar with paying every year is your emissions testing. I always get a laugh out of this, but in Wyoming, you pay zero because there is no emission testing 
they've classified most of the emissions as having to do with either ATVs or snowmobiles. You don't have to worry about it on your car. Now, if you happen to be a hunter, which many Cheyenne residents are, and you're gonna pay the resident fee because you now live here, you only have to budget about $100 for hunting licenses to hunt deer, turkey, and other game birds. That's for the whole year. So at the end of the day, what you'll notice is everything in Cheyenne is just a little bit more affordable than what you may be used to somewhere else and here you're going to get a little more bang for your buck. If you're considering making the relocation to Cheyenne, one of the very first things you're going to want to do is have an analysis of the cost of living for your particular needs. Reach out to me, I'd be happy to provide that with you. Thanks so much for checking out our video today. If you want to see more videos like this with informative information about Cheyenne, go ahead and subscribe or head over to our website. If you want to reach out to me directly, my contact information is just beside the video. Hit me up. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. I'm Stan the Mortgage Man. Thanks for watching another episode of Why Not.